Now at noon, new developments for a homeless encampment on the Ben Franklin Parkway. The city has now postponed tomorrow's deadline for the group to move out. Good afternoon, I'm Janelle Burrell. Welcome to CBS 3 at noon, now streaming live on CBSN Philly. The city just announcing that they will now postpone the plans to close the camp because conversations with the group are ongoing. And Mayor Jim Kenney says he plans to meet with several camp representatives sometime next week. Now, members of that encampment, they are vowing to stay put and the encampment is now spreading out to a new area. Our Jen Carabeo has more. About a dozen tents have now popped up in the Azalea Garden behind the Philadelphia Museum of Art. I wish the city would come up with a long-term solution. Neighbors exercising along the popular trails in the area first noticed the tents earlier this week. We even seen little kids out here with their mom and dad or their mom oh, yeah. pushing the cart. The tents here in the Azalea Garden are part of the Parkway Homeless Encampment. A list of their demands are tacked to some of the trees here. The demands here are similar to those of the main encampment that formed more than a month ago at 22nd Street and the Parkway. Members of the encampment want better treatment of homeless people and permanent low-income housing. Many we spoke with say the requests are reasonable. There's so many vacant houses in the city of Philadelphia. You know, why can't the city do something for people that don't have a place to live. We do have a long term uh, problem with uh, housing in this uh, city. The city says public health and safety are behind its decision. In a statement, a city spokesperson adds conversations between the city and the group are ongoing, and we're still hoping to reach a reasonable outcome. The city continues to make every effort to assist homeless individuals who are at the camp to connect to services and leave voluntarily. Members, though, have vowed to stay. In Fairmount Park, Jan Carabao, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.